In the English translation of Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2127, and I will quote Aisha who said, I said, yes, he struck me on the chest which caused me pain. So why did Muhammad beat his wife Aisha which caused her pain? He said what? <laughs> it says in the English translation of Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2127, and I will quote Aisha who said, I said, yes, he struck me on the chest which caused me pain. Why did Muhammad beat his wife Aisha which caused her pain? Hey, listen, man, come on. You know, me and my wife, you know, we be talking back and forth sometimes, you know, and I push her, she push me, whatever it is that caused me pain, caused her pain. Don't mean that she beat me up and I beat her up. We just taking things out of context. You know, sometimes I talk to my mother, she say, my talking caused her pain. That didn't mean that I beat her up. You know, why people are using words like did, why he beat her up? This seemed like it came from a Kafir who told a Muslim to ask that. Again, when the Kafirs ask these questions, keep in mind that because they're ignorant about many things, they are suspended between the heavens and the earth. This is not a question that comes from the Muslims because first of all we know, our Prophet Sallallahu he never even beat an animal. The Prophet Sallallahu never beat an animal. One of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu said, I served the Prophet Sallallahu for 15 years. And he never even said to me, oof. He never even said to you, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? He never even spoke like that. And the Prophet Sallallahu one day, he was talking to one of his companions. And the companion asked him, oh, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu I used to play music before I was a Muslim, and I used to get some money for it. Can I play music now? The Prophet said, said, Wallahi, if I knew that's what you were doing, I would have taken my miswak and beat you with it. <laughs> Did he beat him? Did he beat him? So what was that? It was figurative, is that correct? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke in that way figuratively, like he said, may your face be covered with dust but he never cursed anybody. He didn't curse anybody. Even his enemies, he didn't curse. And he never beat a slave, a servant. He never beat an animal. So how could he have beat his wife? So he's taking it out of context. <coughs> and the non-Muslims, <coughs> they keep asking the same questions for the last 20 years. It's like they don't understand. Come on, man. Heaven and earth. Bread and butter. East and west. Salt and pepper, male and female, y'all got that wrong too. Let's move on. Let's get the thing correct. Why you keep looking for holes? <clears throat> you keep digging around, see if you can find something. <clears throat> Islam is so beautiful and Islam so tight that they keep asking the same questions for the last 20 years and they don't even want the answer. They want a reason to reject. You don't need a reason to reject. If you are a rejecter of faith, that's reason enough.